welcome back to another vlog. This week's vlog is a little less on the adventurous side and features more of what a typical Sunday is really like for us when we're not out exploring. With that being said, if you prefer the more action-packed style vlogs, the next vlog after this is going to be a real cracker, where we head to the Cedarburg and try outdoor sport climbing for the first time. Exciting, nerve-wracking and blimmin' freezing. With that being said, I hope that you enjoy this vlog and the more mellow vibes that it brings. you guys saw, managed to get the drone up uh, while the wind was at bay and uh, it was torture busy filming everyone surfing so I promptly put down the camera and uh, hopped in myself for a quick hour surf. But yeah, anyway, back home now and we said yesterday that we really feel like curry. So googled a chicken korma recipe which is my favourite and it actually turned out we had a bunch of the ingredients and spices in our pantry. Blair and I both love cooking so we have yeah, accumulated a lot of uh, nice spices and curry ingredients and stuff over the years. And then last week Blair was experimenting with some flatbreads and some naan breads and they were delicious. So he'll be in charge of making those. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to, to try something new. For now though, uh, I have prepped the ingredients behind me. Basically, you, uh, you need to marinate the chicken. So I've got four skinless chicken breasts here. Um, 
Ideally, you actually need to marinate this overnight. I really should have checked this yesterday, but hey ho, here we are. Uh, it's 25 past one in the afternoon, so we've still got quite a bit of time before we eat. Um, so yeah, basically I'm gonna put the chicken marinade in the Ziploc bag and just smush all of the ingredients together, pop this in the fridge, and just let this go until I start cooking probably at around 6, 6.30 later. So this will have plenty of time to marinate and the chicken will tenderize. And I'm just super excited because I love chicken korma. <laughs> and I'm excited to cook actually. So this looks very neat, very organized. I just wanted to show you guys the reality of the situation. But yeah, I have shifted everything <laughs> to this side. This is the recipe that I'm following. Uh, spare lens, water glasses, toaster which usually lives here and um, a couple of dirty dishes which I need to do and at my feet which I'm trying to dodge while talking to you guys is uh, the laundry that needs to go in. <laughs> so yeah, Instagram versus reality right? YouTube versus reality. But let's get cooking! solid four hours and um, I've got to work on the this is essentially what's going to create like that nice creamy texture so you saute onions cardamom cashews almonds and you blitz it all together in a blender and after this you then start cooking your chicken and add the sauce at a later stage that this tastes as good as it looks on the website. Alright, this is our marinated chicken. It's been sitting for some time. Hopefully it's nice and tender. But yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, the korma is blipping away. It actually smells a bit like Christmas with all of these spices. And uh, Blair's made us some, um, it's not naan, it's flatbread, right? Yeah. Flatbread. It's a flatbread. It's very simple flatbread. It's delicious. Four ingredients. Water, flour, salt and vegetable oil. Sorry for the background noise. The washing machine is currently going. But I'm very happy to say that the lamb, the lamb, the chicken korma is finished. Blair's flatbreads are finished and these are delicious. Um, this is what the chicken korma looks like, just blipping away. It smells delicious. Hey, it smells like glue vine almost. It's got the same spices. I don't know about glue vine, but it smells delicious. I have snuck a, a little taster when you had good. your back turned. It'll never be like restaurant chicken korma, but it's bloody delicious for a good enough. Attempt. Good enough for a Sunday evening. Exactly. So good if enough. you guys are interested, I'll put the link in the description below if you want to test your hand at a chicken korma. But yeah, I think we're going to plate up and enjoy our delicious Sunday dinner. Done. Thanks so much for watching the vlog. I hope that you enjoyed it and I know it was a little bit different compared to what I usually post, what with the whole cooking show in there. Um, but with that being said, the next vlog is going to be an absolute cracker because Blair and I head to the Cedarburg, which is a magical part of the Western Cape, and we try our hand 
at outdoor climbing on rock for the first time ever. Um, so yeah, very excited to share that. A massive thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this vlog. And if you don't know anything about them, I'm gonna share some of my favorite features. If this is your first time watching and you're not sure what Squarespace is about, they are an all-in-one platform which allows you to very easily put together your own blog, online shop or website. They have award-winning ready-made templates and other great features, including the ability to track your site's analytics, make changes on the go via your mobile phone, and allows you to share your posts across your different social media platforms. If this sounds like something you'd be interested in, head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And if you then want to start your website or domain, head to squarespace.com forward slash Nicole Eddy and this will give you 10% off of your first purchase of that website or domain. Awesome guys, I'll see you in the next vlog and I hope that you enjoyed this.